Hey friends, welcome to this video. In this video, you're gonna learn how to send an email by using the Node.js. How are you gonna do this? For doing that, you need a module. What is the module name? Node.mailer. First of all, you have to download this Node.mailer module. To download this one, just download it by npm. Go to terminal, write npm and install a Node.mailer. And your module will be installed. And after that, you can include it to your code by using required Node.mailer. So, sounds easy, right? Now let's do it. I go to my project, I make a folder, I call it sent mail not js and I import this folder into my visual code and I go to my terminal and from there I'm going to run the terminal, it takes a few seconds. Okay, let's download the not miller, just write npm and install not Miller. Press enter and it take a few seconds. It's installed, okay? Let's clear. And now we have the node mailer in our code. Create a new file, I call it mail.js. <sighs> Let's make the font a little bit bigger so you guys can see everything much better. Okay, how are we gonna use it? As we talked about, we make a variable, I call it not mailer equal to require and I require it the not mailer. That's how we can include it in our copy. Okay, we have completely um, imported, included my not mailer. Now, how I can use it to send an email? Okay, this is actually very, very easy. You can use it to send an email for everyone. To do that, you have to make few things. The first one is a transporter. You make, you have to make a transporter. I make a variable and I call it trans, uh, transporter. Now this is equal to, now I use the node mailer, node mailer. And what I want, I want to create a transport. Okay. So dot create transport. And inside this one, I have to make the string SMT transport and etc. How I can do this? open a bracket inside this one just like making function and the first thing is you have to tell the node mailer which SMTP service do you want to use in this case I want to use Gmail if you want to use a hotmail in your Yahoo you can also do that but in this case I want to use the Gmail so write service in the service I say Gmail comma what's your next thing is the the authentication okay for doing that just say oh AUTH for authentication and this will be an object okay so what we have inside this object the username and password of your email but but this is very tricky let's first write the email I want to use my own email okay this is an email address comma the second thing is the password but this is not the password of your email address okay if you write your email address password it doesn't work it doesn't work what you need you need an app password how you can get get that one just go to your browser go to your google account once you're inside your google account search for web key Web and app, uh, sorry, key. It was app. Okay, app passwords. Okay, you have to search for app passwords. And if you go there, first it ask you to log in. So just log in. And here you have to create a, an app password. I've already created. This is very easy. You just put the, give the name and generate once you generate it give you a password okay it give you a password you have to copy that password that's how let's let's do it let me delete this one and create from the okay it asks you first select app what i want to make click other and give the name i give it not mailer click generate and this is my password i can use this one to send the password okay just copy this one and come back to your visual code and paste the password in here this is the password we need not your 
in Blazor's password. Okay, after that, what I want to do is now I made a transporter and I used my own email address for doing that. The second thing is the mail options, like you go to Gmail and write this email from who to who, your email address, your subject, and etc. The mail options. So I make a variable, I call it mail options, and this is equal to this is an object, okay? Inside this object, first from from where of course this is my own email address I want to send it from my own email address so just copy this one again and paste it in here comma and the second thing is to you want to send this email to who you have to write the recession email address in here in this case I use one of my own email so I write my email address in here and this is the email address you send email to you can use anybody's email address in here and after that we have subject and this is your email subject email sent by note j something like that you can write anything you want in the subject after that you have your text inside the text I say this is a test email okay and that's enough for the options after that we ju use just one line of code to send this email what is that first I use my transporter I use my transporter and put a dot I have to tell the note mailer to send this mail so this very easy just say send mail okay what is the options of the mail which is we already created mail options just write it here mail options and after that we have a function with two parameters the first one is the error the error and the second one is info and inside this function we want to check if there is an error what I want I want to console log and print those errors if there is not an error if there is not an error so it's else if there's not an error, I want to console lock. I want to console lock email sent, and I also want to print the info of the response info, which is the parameter of the function, and it has an element of response. I want to print that one. Let's save this one and test if it works. This is my email. I already opened that one. You see, there is no email at the moment. If I open, if I go to the terminal and say note mail.js and press enter, I take a few seconds, and there we go. Email sent, and it also print the info, the response info. Let's check my email address, and here we go. I received an email address. You see with the subject of email sent by notches and the email itself so it means it worked okay it worked but you can do a little bit more if you want to send an email to multiple persons what you have to do inside your two just put a comma and place another email address that's how you can send it to multiple people but there's one more thing we can use what if you want to send an HTML HTML thing to your email address. So this was a text, but now I want to send an email address. But this time, instead of a text, I want to use HTML. So just say HTML and open brackets. Uh, sorry, open this one. Call quote and so inside this quote, I want to use HTML. So I use the simple H1. Welcome. And I close my H1. And now I use a paragraph that's easy and I close my paragraph so I use an HTML code for this email okay now let me send this one and it should print on the email address as HTML file let's save this one come back to my terminal and type note mail.js let's run it and my email has been sent now let me check refresh 
Okay. Okay, there it is. This is my email address, you see? This one is an H1 and this is a paragraph. So my HTML also worked. This was cool, right? So, now you learn how to send an email address by using Node.js. But what? If you want to make a form and not write this thing in here, but use a HTML form to put the uh, reception email address, the subject, and, and email itself, okay? And send it via button. That's what we're gonna do in the next video. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Have a great time.